One of the things I'm finding amazing is walking in and seeing you know, a pamphlet from the Battle of Flodden and all these you know, objects from um, you know, the Civil War and the, um, the 18th century. And then it kind of comes right up to date with some really modern and ongoing scandals. There's a the whole issue about you know, things like parliamentary expenses and what's going on in Parliament and the kind of arguments over the degradation of British politics right now is very interesting. But there are also utter scandals like you know, the deaths of all those people in Grenfell. And I wonder what your thoughts are about some of the more current stories that are reflected in this exhibition. Well, what's nice about the exhibition is it, it a reminder that people have always been shining a light into dark places and sometimes those dark places are uncomfortable. They're uncomfortable reading. Uh, in modern times, they're even more uncomfortable viewing. So all the way back in the Civil War, you know, in the 1600s, shining an uncomfortable light on the way in which the King's troops were dealing with parliamentary troops and, and vice versa. Yeah, I was even thinking, all those pamphleteers in the, in the area around the Civil War, they're probably regarded by those in power as being like anti-vaxxers. Who are these, you know, these <laughs> upstarts. upstarts telling us that things need to be different? Yeah, but, you know, in the end, they were, they helped shape the kind of society, the kind of expectation of political discourse that we now expect. Yeah, no, I mean, the thing is they weren't wrong necessarily at all, but anyway. But bringing, you know, you see a, a line between that and, of course, shining a light in dark places when it matters, like Grenfell. Um, what's interesting in this exhibition, it has a quote from one of the local people when all the cameras descended on Grenfell and said, where were you when we really needed you? Okay. Journalism actually missed a story in Grenfell yeah covering the plight of people living in high-rise blocks. And it was only once, once the fire happened that people realised, oh my goodness, this is what the story is all and about. And only because so many people died, but it was the number of people who died at Grenfell that I think made people take notice. Well, that's classic, that's notice. classic, isn't it? How many people died and how close was it to you? Because and, Lackanall you know, House was you know, only a few years earlier, If there had been 72,000 people died, it would have had to have been, you know, if it, if it had been 72 people and it wasn't on fire, it would have had to be much further away for it to be relevant, you know what I mean? It's, it's the proximity to the story and the scale of the story sells the story to the news editor. So in other words, uh, uh, if Grenfell had only had two or three people die, it probably wouldn't have made the, the headlines. No, so they'd ignored all the lessons that came out of that previous fire. But that's also to do with who was affected and where it happened. Yeah, I think, you know, sometimes journalists, I was one of those journalists off, after all, because I covered Lacanel, um an awful lot. And the feeling was that sometimes you as a journalist want to tell the story, want to tell the truth, are trying to say to opinion formers and policy makers, you must do something, and they don't. You feel as a journalist, you failed, frankly. Um, and then something like Grenfell comes along and it proves the point that there was a failure. Of course, now Grenfell's such a big story, so many people died, that uh, so many questions have been asked again, that finally something is going to be done, I'm sure, about the safety of people in high-rise um, blocks. And it kind of says that journal it shows why journalism matters, but ironically also shows that journalism sometimes has a hard time making itself matter. It partly depends on the way in which the public authorities respond to that journalism and whether that journalism is really going to have impact.